What's up, boys? Today, we're going to be doing a player review on the new Silver Stars, Danny Welbeck. You can complete him for an 82-rated squad and I think 70 chem. The only thing hard about that is getting the chem, but honestly, it just took a little bit longer than I expected, but I still got it done without buying any players. And before we get into the player review, I want to take a look at all the guys that this guy links with to prepare you guys for the Silver Weekend League and see how you guys maybe want to construct your squads. So on the bench here, I have all the Silver Stars players that are either Premier League, English, or both. So we have the Gibbs White player moments from a while ago, but the rest of these have been released recently, except for the Diallo. So we have the new Musanda card. I honestly think a big front three this, this weekend is going to be Musanda, Welbeck, and then this Alanga card right here in a 4-3-3 lining up, just left wing, right wing, and striker. And I think behind them, there's going to be Pogba, uh, Kevin De Bruyne, Paul Pogba, and then probably Joe Linton or Diallo. I think there will be people not using Paul Pogba if they have the Diallo and then use Joe Linton instead. I think that's what I'm going to do. Use Diallo, Joe Linton, and Kevin De Bruyne. But there is definitely going to be a lot of people that use uh, Paul Pogba instead that don't have the Diallo from Winter Wild Cards. And if you're really feeling a bit a bit dodgy or you want to do something different, you could move Danny Welbeck down to a center mid and play him. So how that would work would you put Rico Henry right here at left back. You would put Alanga at where's Alanga? Alanga at left wing and then you would move Danny Welbeck to a CDM or center mid depending on what you what you want play him here and then you can get full chem on Rico Henry with that strong link and you'll get full chem on Danny Welbeck if you put even if you put just a soft link to him like Diallo here at center mid that could definitely be a way to work it out if you want to use a different combination of a striker and right wing if you don't want to use this new Musando but I think you might want to use him he's very good he's got very good agility very good balance but let's take a look at Danny Welbeck and his his stats now off the rip this card looks incredible 6-1 high high work rates four star four star the four star four star is very big as a lot of the more recent players that have been released have four, have good skill moves in the week but but over the the year and over the objectives that we've had players haven't had good weak foot or skill moves so it's good to have both right footed and 6-1 i think definitely will be big aerial threat this weekend league with a lot of the center backs being actually no, i think a lot of the silver center backs are big but they can't really jump they can't move super well so he brings the perfect balance of size and pace that you want in a striker moving into the in-game stats 86 acceleration 88 sprint speed i wish the acceleration was a bit higher but in game you can't really feel it in game he feels super quick super responsive and I think that partially is due to his shooting. It sounds a bit weird, but he feels so good because every time he gets in front of goal, he doesn't miss because he has the best shooting stat or best finishing stats out of any of the silver stars we've seen this year or this, this past week. 89 finishing, 90 shot power, and that's pretty much all you need to know. And the 87 attack position. The long shots aren't it, but just don't take long shots. It's not that hard. Long shots aren't super overpowered with silver cards anyways. Even the ones that have good long shots, they're still not incredibly good the passing's decent uh 76 short passing 74 long passing but if you're playing him as a solo striker uh, i don't think that will be too big of an issue i play a 4-2-3-1 so he's gonna be as a striker for me and passing for that striker isn't really that big a deal if you play a 4-4-2 or a strike uh formation with two strikers and a cam maybe the passing is a bit more important for you and you might want to use someone else but if you're playing a one striker formation i think he's definitely a guy that can can has the passing stats or the ability to link up play in both the build-up play and in the final Final, final third and the opponent's box dribbling the stats don't do his dribbling justice i don't think i did my favorite skill move to do with him was i would get the ball with who's i playing at cam i was playing royce at cam and i would get the ball with royce pass it to a uh, well back first time fake shot to the right or the left because he has four star weak but i felt comfortable hitting it on either foot because the shot power and finishing were so high and the composure but we'll get to the composure in a sec and then also the heel the heel was very good he felt very nice maybe not don't maybe don't do a little bit of Maybe less left stick, more actual skill moves. I think for this guy would be a bit helpful just because he's a bit taller. The, the skill moves seem to hit a bit faster and a bit more effective in game than the straight left stick or the straight just spin your left stick in a circle and hope your opponent makes a makes a decision and commits. Um, and the composure, 88 definitely contributes to his shooting and uh, moving on to the heading accuracy, 87. That's why I mean when this guy's an aerial threat, he has all the tangible assets to be an incredible and i mean incredible aerial threat he's got 87 heading accuracy 90 jumping he's six one he's got good strength good aggression good finishing and he's just an absolute tank in the air and on on the ground uh take a look at the physical stats uh most of these players have 
80 stamina, which is, it's kind of annoying because they do get burnt out pretty quickly, but he has 81 and it's not like he's any more far behind the rest than any of the other attackers, which I, I like to see considering he's got that 82 physical. I wish it was more distributed equally and less to the jumping because he's, he has the height already. It's not like he needs the great jumping. But it sure, it surely will help in game. Strength 80 is definitely good. I thought that I could, especially with the heal to heals. Um, if you players with good strength and good aggression and are somewhat quick, I feel like they can glitch through these, glitch through the center backs. It's sort of one of those ones where you do it where the center backs are here and you go sort of through the middle of the center backs, heal to heal, and there's times you get bumped, but he didn't really seem to get bumped off the ball too easily. The aggression is definitely a contributing factor to that. His player traits, he's got speed dribbler, which is, which is, I don't know, it, it's okay. I don't think it really suits him so much because of the height and because of the just build of the card. He's more of a, a, a pure striker, I would say, but more of a mix between a pure striker and uh, an absolute silky, <laughs> silky left stick yam boy. But he's, he's definitely good. He's very, very good. Gets that, English, and once again, as I said earlier, gets the links and... I think you'll be seeing him a lot in a weekend league this weekend, as will you with, with pretty much all the other attackers. Um, Looking at, I want to compare his shooting to Royce because Royce has been incredible for me. Yeah, Royce has 82 finishing and 84 shot power. Welbeck has 89 finishing and 90 shot power. So he does have, I'm pretty sure, the best shooting stats out of any of the attackers. And looking at Elanga, Elanga has 81 finishing, 86 shot power. So... Once again, Welbeck is clear there, and that is just something you'd love to see. There's, these cards have been pretty good at finishing, but I think when you get into foot champs, it's going to be even more important to have good shot power, good finishing, good composure, and that's definitely what the card has, and I think you guys will will definitely enjoy it. It's, it's a must-do. Welbeck is an absolute legend of the game, so you got you just got you got to send it for, for the culture. It's only an 82-rated squad, and I think you guys will thoroughly enjoy the card, but... Let me know what teams you're going to be rocking this weekend in the Silver Weekend League. If you're excited for the, the red picks and this new team of the week that we have in Bappes here, Dembele. So that's it, boys. I'll see you guys next time. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe.